Seems that Games Workshop's leaking things again in a big way. Let's talk about the new Super Heavy kit that seems to have mysteriously turned up on eBay. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking about another major Warhammer leak. Games Workshop do seem to be going rather retro with these ones, where every so often they send out a kit and someone sticks it on eBay, not really knowing what they've received. This time it would seem that it's something knightly, armed with a great big flamethrower. At this point it maybe isn't getting too surprising to see Games Workshop kits coming out and eBay being the first place that we know about it. For things that I've covered on the channel I seem to remember we had that Cadian upgrade sprue, that was one that turned up on eBay before anywhere else. The one with things like the nice tank commander who's kind of reminiscent of Pask, and the person who received it seemed to know that they were getting something that they probably shouldn't have access to, seeing as they were putting it on for £200. No idea whether anyone actually took them up on that, seems like quite a lot to get your hands on a few Cadian bits a little bit before anyone else to be honest. Otherwise we also had the Leagues of Votan data cards, they were really quite big before we even knew quite a lot of details about their codex. And we have had a few other models that are shipped to people early as well, say for example that Commander Dante model where someone not only decided, but decided to wait until they'd put a nice paint job on it, so at least they'd be showing it off in style rather than just leaking sprues. I think there was a Horus Heresy Praetor as well that had something kind of similar. I feel like this has been something that's been happening a bit more recently in recent years. Games Workshop is certainly always leaky, but it often tends to be more pictures of things as opposed to them somehow shipping the physical model early. Just in general online chatter, there's a lot of speculation about its teething issues in their new warehouse. They seem to be sending off a fair few random kits early, and people are receiving these new and unannounced models in replacement for what they would have expected. I guess there's always the possibility that leaks are actually coming from in-games workshop itself, or for some folks who get the preview copies of miniatures, they might well not be being quite as careful as they should be, though in general that seems to leak a bit more in terms of rule books and pages for them, rather than entire miniatures. In any case, going back to today's offering, and this sprue has turned up on eBay, this one is probably one that they didn't know exactly what they might have been selling, as it was offered for a fairly small amount of money I've heard reported. It does seem that the eBay offering has been taken down, though the image has been reposted a whole bunch of different places. I think the one that was first shared to me was the R30K Reddit, so I'll leave a link to that down in the video description. Some sprues in 40k might not be the easiest to piece out exactly what they are, but this one is about as specific as it could be. On the left and the right it looks like we've got an enormous chain blade going on there, just above that we've got a very long barreled and fairly distinctive looking flame cannon, and the rest looks like parts of knightly arms to house them with, no doubt on a fancy knight that was previously in Forge World resin. Specifically this is the weapon loadout for the Serastus Knight Acheron, a fairly fancy and fairly popular Forge World Knight, armed with a great big flamethrower and a chain weapon. It seems that the image that's got shared widely around the internet is just the bit for the war gear for that sprue. I've got no doubt it'll be backed up by the rest of the knight in plastic, probably the same chassis as the Lancer. I guess we'll see if Games Workshop follows up this leak with an official announcement that this knight's coming, but basically you can see that the parts do equate to the flamethrower and the chain fist here. This is the current Forge World model for the Serastus Knight Acheron, and I must admit I do quite like the paint scheme that they've gone for with this one. As with the rest of them, the Serastus Knights are the slightly taller standing ones that move a bit more rapidly across the board. They just look a little bit more high standing and a bit more dynamic possibly than the Questorus chassis I think. And in general the patterns of knights are a bit more associated with the distant past and the Horus Heresy as opposed to contemporary 40k, where they're a bit more exciting relic class status. Its war gear on its current data sheet is the Reaper Chain Fist with twin heavy bolters built in, plus the Acheron Pattern Flame Cannon. Compared with the other Serastus Knights, these guys are used as a weapon of fear to exterminate their foes. Perhaps a knight that's got the slightly less noble duty of really punching a foe when they're already down, using that enormous great big flamethrower to purge the last vestiges of enemy resistance, particularly suited for taking out infantry cowering in buildings and things. Currently the Serastus Pattern Knights really are quite expensive, this guy's £225, €275 Euros, or $345 from the Forge World web store. I definitely feel that when that costs over twice the amount of a normal Imperial Knight, that's going to put off a whole load of people who might want the model, but just can't really justify that kind of price even if they do like the look of him. I guess we might not have all that long to wait. As per Games Workshop's Horus Heresy timeline, they did say that more Lords of War will be coming in autumn, and that's going to be following on from the plastic version of the Serastus Knight Lancer coming in summer. I think most people were suspecting once they announced that they were redoing the Serastus chassis in plastic, it would have been a very strange decision to just release the Lancer and not release parts for the other variants. Once they've redesigned the whole chassis, that's the hard part done, you only really need a few more weapon sprues. Should be good news if you do want to pick one up, it's probably worth holding off on the Forge World resin one in my opinion until then, 
it'll probably be around about half the price. I kind of wonder if we're only going to be able to pick them up in the Four Big Night box, or they might do something similar to how they did with the Horus Heresy Dreadnoughts, and have an upgrade sprue for the weapons if you just want to pick up those. I'm not 100% convinced that they will, but it could be really nice for those of us who like to magnetise knights. I think it would be very cool to have a Sebastus knight and be able to magnetise out the weapon options to trade them out for what you want to play with that game. I feel like that's one really big advantage of the current Questorus and now the Dominus things, now they all come in the same box. While it sounds like the motivation for these releases is going to be more due to Horus Heresy, it is on the timeline for the Age of Darkness releases after all. The Serastus Knight Acheron absolutely does have Warhammer 40k rules, and there's no reason to think that it wouldn't have them in 10th, particularly with a shiny new model on the way. You can get a general flavour of its rules from the 9th edition datasheet though, it's currently 480 points, a little bit tougher than your standard quest Doris, and moves a touch faster. The Flame Cannon is pretty brutal anti-elite infantry. 2d6 auto hits at strength 7, AP 2 and damage 3, great for purging through things like 3 wound infantry like custodies. And then the Reaper Chain Fist either strikes with its sore mode with 4 attacks at a flat damage 6, or sweep mode with 12 attacks at AP 2 and damage D3. Those rules were written before the 9th edition Knights Codex though, so it's kind of hard to interpret how it stands compared with the rest of them in 9th edition. Should be pretty exciting to see what big flamethrower wielding knights can do in 10th edition. It's maybe one of the models that I'm curious to see how they interpret the flamer. If they still give it auto hitting, which I guess isn't guaranteed, then it could be absolutely brutal with a new Overwatch stratagem, potentially 1 CP to hand out a crazy amount of damage. Definitely not guaranteed though, they did say that some current flamers wouldn't auto hit like they do now. Finally, as well as the actual Acheron itself, which is now confirmed I suppose, this does I feel pretty much guarantee by proxy the existence of a Plastic Knight Atropos and Plastic Knight Castigator, the other two Sevastus Passant Knights. The Atropos is particularly solid at taking down other super heavies, and the Castigator has got that fearsome Gatling Cannon. I'm kind of interested to see what the stats of that will be in 10th edition, now we know that the regular Avenger Gatling Cannon is going all the way up to 18 shots. Will this be something like 20 or 24 shots? If so, then it's probably going to be fairly apocalyptic. In any case though, let me know what you think of the new Nightly Leak. If we are indeed getting all the Sarastas Pattern Knights in the nearest future, would you be tempted to pick up any of them? And if so, which one would be your favourite? If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics. I will try and cover Games Workshop's news and leaks as soon as I can on the channel. I do tend to post 40k videos just about every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying all the videos, I would just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well, and you can find that linked in the video description below if you're interested in helping support. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.